So there's been a trending topic among guitar teachers on YouTube that I've been seeing everywhere for the past few months. And that is how to be a great rhythm guitar player. Now those videos are all awesome, but I wanna throw my own hat in the ring and talk about what I think makes a great rhythm guitarist. Mm -hmm. Now honestly, there really are countless things. You've got a really good sense of timing. You've got knowledge of many chords and their variations. You know when and when not to play to best serve the song. You have clean and fluid chord changes, good muting technique with both your picking and your fretting hand, and you know how to add embellishments and incorporate things like hammer-ons and pull-offs into your rhythm playing. And that's really just scratching the surface. This video could easily turn into me sitting here and listing off a whole bunch of rhythm guitar techniques and things that you should work on, but what I want to do today is focus in on one specific thing that I think creates a divide between good rhythm guitar players and great rhythm guitar players. That thing is dynamic strumming. So what exactly is that? Well, your strumming should not look like this. And this comes down to one of the reasons I personally dislike the idea of strumming patterns, because strumming patterns essentially divide rhythm guitar into just upstrokes and downstrokes. The truth is that you have access to an entire drum kit here on your guitar. So what I mean by dynamic strumming is thinking like a drummer and making use of your entire kit. Now I don't mean like August Rush style where you're gonna be smacking your guitar and things like that. All I'm talking about is regular strumming technique, but we are going to try and emulate a full drum kit. So guitar is an instrument with a lot of dynamic range and we wanna make use of as much of that as we can. Now when we think about a drum beat, let's just think of a very simple basic drum beat. It's gonna have three main elements, obviously there are more, but you've got your kick drum, you've got your snare, and then you've got your hi-hat, right? That's pretty typical. So how can we replicate that on our guitar? Well, we can think of our lower strings as our kick drum and our higher strings as our snare, right? Boom, tap, boom, boom, tap, right? Just like a regular drum beat. Then for our hi-hat, we can kind of approach that a few different ways. You can just put less emphasis or hit with less velocity, some parts of that chord. Or maybe you just wanna mute the strings all together for that hi-hat. There's a lot of different ways we can go about it, but the main goal here is to separate our downstrokes and upstrokes into a whole bunch of other little dynamic tools to just make our strumming sound a lot more interesting. So rather than sitting here and just talking about all of the little intricacies, I think it's gonna be more effective if I just show you all of this stuff along to a real track. So we wanna start off really simple. So if you're following along with me or you're trying to do this with your own song, basically all we wanna do is mute our strings, okay, with our fretting hand, so we don't have to think about that. And we're gonna do everything with our strumming hand. So I'm listening to the drums, in the rhythm section, and thinking about what's happening, and I'm gonna try and replicate it. Just whatever feels right. It doesn't have to be perfect. And if I feel really confident, I can start incorporating chords. Okay, so the chord progression just changed. And just because I think it's so important, we can just keep with our muted strums the whole time if we want. It's still training that strumming hand to think more like a drum kit, right? We can go simple, not even worry about that hi-hat, but I think if you can, try and get it in there. Right?
So let's try this with a track that has a totally different feel than the first one because we're all into different stuff, right? Now, I'm gonna do the same thing to start off by muting my strings like this, and I'm just gonna listen to the drums. Low, low, high, right? And keep with those muted strums as long as you need to. This is still very effective without the chords. You can spend all day working on this. But when you're ready, you can add those chords. So what I want you to do is try this exact exercise with a bunch of songs that you personally really like. We all have different tastes in what we enjoy, right? And it's all gonna be a slightly different approach depending on the style of music. What we've looked at today is like the most basic version of dynamic strumming. This can be taken really, really far and combined with pretty much every rhythm and lead guitar technique. It's really, really cool. I'd highly encourage you to practice this as much as you can. As far as next steps, I have a lesson on essential rhythm guitar techniques. I think it'd be really helpful, so if you wanna check that out, I'm going to put a link up in the middle of the screen for you. You'll find my guitar course, Patreon, and a whole bunch of free downloads linked at the top of the description below this video. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.